We're just under two minutes from entry interface. As it gets closer to Mars, Perseverance is actually being pulled in by gravity and accelerating. By the time Perseverance reaches entry interface point, she should be going just under 5.4 kilometers per second. We're at about 90 seconds from entry interface and standing by for Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter to pick up the telemetry. Mode. We have confirmation that the Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter is now relaying data from Perseverance. We're about 30 seconds from entry interface. Perseverance is going about 5.2 kilometers per second and is about 190 kilometers altitude above the surface of Mars. Confirm your jet data flow. from entry interface, 5.3 kilometers per second and an altitude of uh, 150 kilometers from the surface of Mars. Thank you. We have confirmation of entry interface. Perseverance is currently going 5.3 kilometers per second at an altitude of about 120 kilometers from the surface of Mars. The spacecraft is now waiting until it begins feeling the atmosphere of Mars to slow it down. Once there is enough atmosphere, it will start controlling its path to the landing target. Navigation is also confirming that we can see a little bit of that slowdown of the atmosphere on the Perseverance entry capsule. Our current velocity is about 5.36 kilometers per second and an altitude of about 67 kilometers from the surface. We are probably seeing MRO plasma blackout at this point. Vehicle should be doing its turns right now. Hammer has lost lock. Perseverance. We have indications that Perseverance is now performing bank reversals in the atmosphere. These are the steps in order to control its distance to the landing target. Uh, Perseverance has just passed through the point of maximum deceleration and has indicated that. Mm. It felt approximately 10 Earth Gs of deceleration. MRO has lock again. Yes, 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 yes. We saw a small outage uh, of the UHF telemetry from Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter during that peak heating phase likely caused by the plasma blackout. Perseverance is still continuing to perform bank reversals in the atmosphere to control its distance to the landing target. Perseverance is going about one kilometers per second at an altitude of about 16 kilometers from the surface of Mars. We have entered heading alignment which means Perseverance is no longer trying to control the distance to Mars, but in, to the target on Mars, but instead is flying straight to the target. Perish. 
باشیم Our current velocity is about 550 meters per second at an altitude of about 15 kilometers from the surface. MRO is reporting good telemetry log. We are coming upon the straighten up. We are starting the straighten up and fly right maneuver where the spacecraft will jettison the entry balance masses in preparation for parachute deploy and to roll over to give the radar a better look at the ground. Yes, yes, yes. The navigation yes. has confirmed that the parachute has deployed and we are seeing significant deceleration in the velocity. Our current velocity is 430 meters per second at an altitude of about 12 kilometers from the surface of Mars. Perseverance has now slowed to subsonic speeds and the heat shield has been separated. This allows both the radar and the cameras to get their first look at the surface. Current velocity is 145 meters per second and an altitude of about 10 kilom nine and a half kilometers above the surface. Yes, yes, right. yes. Perseverance now has radar lock on the ground. Current velocity is about 100 meters per second, 6.6 yes. .6 kilometers of the surface. Right. Perseverance is continuing to descend on the parachute. We are coming up on the initialization of terrain relative navigation and subsequently the priming of the landing engines. Our current velocity is about 90 meters per second at an altitude of 4.2 kilometers. There. We have confirmation that the lander vision system has produced a valid solution and part of terrain relative navigation. Yes. 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 We have priming of the landing engines. Current velocity is 83 meters per second at about 2.6 kilometers from the surface of Mars. We have confirmation that the back shell has separated. We are currently performing the divert maneuver. Current velocity is about 75 meters per second at an altitude of about a kilometer off the surface of Mars. Here in safety, Bravo. We have completed our terrain relative navigation. Current speed is about 30 meters per second, altitude of about 300 meters off the surface of Mars. We have started our constant velocity accordion, which means we are conducting the sky crane, about to conduct the sky crane maneuver. We've lost direct to Earth to tones. As expected. As expected. Sky crane maneuver has started about 20 meters off the surface. We're getting signals from MRO. UHF is good. Touchdown confirmed. Yeah. Perseverance safely yeah. on the surface of Mars, ready to begin seeking the sands of past life. At this point, the descent stage has flown away to a safe distance. Perseverance is continuing to transmit direct through Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter to Earth. Oh my God. 
Oh. 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 Wow. This is so exciting. Uh, the team is beside themselves. It's, oh, it's, it's so surreal. Stay tuned. We might get some pictures. So much has been riding on this. Yeah, we just heard the news that Perseverance is alive on the surface of Mars. Yeah. It's not the flight. Flight, we have seen the completion of EDL 3000. Copy activity. That is as expected. Okay. Emerald is still seeing a strong signal from the lander. We have just heard the news that Perseverance is alive on the surface of Mars. Congratulations to the mission. And Looks like we have some more news in. It looks like we're getting the first image. Here, take a look at the first image. Flight, this is OL3. I have uh, the target point on the map when you are ready. We are ready, OL3. Go for it. <laughs> Flight, I'll be uh, moving in, showing you the safe zone that we've landed in. The team has just put the first image from Perseverance on the surface of Mars. Now, it comes from the engineering cameras known as the hazard camera. Uh, this camera is mainly used to help the rover drive safely around Mars, and we will get higher resolution photos later in the day. Steve, stand by for Steve. You did. You did it. You did. You led the team. You made it happen. <laughs> we just got our second image in. Our second image is in. Okay, this, these, these, we have a camera in the front and out rear of the, of the, of the spacecraft. Uh, it's, uh, it's, it's, they're near the ground, so these are pretty close. So you can see the wheels there. Uh, and, 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 the, and they're a little dirty because we've got uh, glass covers over these, these cameras. But uh, we took these seconds after landing, so, so there's still dust in the air from our landing event. Uh, so this is, this is happening. Um, uh, you know, this happened just seconds ago, just arrived. And uh, this is really amazing. And, and uh, we even know where we landed. Uh, this is the most amazing thing. The vehicle has told us where, where it's landed because it knew, figured it out. You know, this is a sign. NASA works. NASA works. And when we put our arms together and our hands together and our brains together, 
we can succeed. This is what NASA does. This is what we can do as a country on all of the problems we, we have. We need to work together to do these kinds of things and make success happen.